Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 from creating your bootable USB all the way to a fully activated and smoothly running system. We'll cover the best tools, tips to bypass annoying requirements, and even how to get your Windows 11 activated affordably. So, grab a coffee, stick with me, and let's get your PC running like new. All right. Before we dive into the installation, let's gather what we'll need. First, you'll need a working PC to create your bootable USB drive. This doesn't need to be a powerhouse, just any computer that can run a web browser and a small program. Second, and most importantly, you'll need a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. I'm using a 32 gigabyte USB here, but 8 gigabytes is the minimum. Now, let's create our Windows 11 installation media. Open your favorite web browser. We're going to search for a fantastic free tool called Rufus. So type R U F U S into the search bar. The first official result should be from rufus.ie. Let's click on that. Rufus is a brilliant utility that helps you create bootable USB drives and it offers some excellent extra options that Microsoft's default tool doesn't scroll down the Rufus website until you see the download section. We're looking for the standard version. I recommend the standard installable version for better reliability, though a portable version is also usually available. Click to download it. Once downloaded, locate the file and double click to open Rufus. Okay, here's the Rufus interface. Under device, you should see your USB drive automatically listed. Mine shows up as my 32 gigabyte drive. Under boot selection, ensure disk or ISO images is selected. Now you'll see two buttons below that select and download. To ensure we get the exact ISO we want, let's download the Windows 11 ISO manually from Microsoft. Open a new browser tab and search for Windows 11 ISO. Click on the first official link from Microsoft.com, usually titled something like Download Windows 11. On the Microsoft page, scroll down until you find the section that says Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 devices. Click the Select Download drop-down and choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO. Then click the Download Now button. Next, it will ask you to select the product language. I'll choose English United States, but pick the one appropriate for you. Then click Confirm. Finally, click the 64-bit download button. The Windows 11 ISO file will now start downloading. It's a fairly large file, around 6 gigabytes, so this might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. OK, our Windows 11 ISO has finished downloading. Let's go back to Rufus. Now, click the Select button in Rufus. Navigate to your Downloads folder or wherever you save the ISO file. Select the Windows 11 ISO file we just downloaded and click Open. Great, the ISO is now loaded in Rufus. For image option, you can leave it as Standard Windows Installation. Partition scheme should typically be GPT and target system should be UEFI non-CSMs. These are standard for modern systems. Under Volume Label, you can name your USB drive if you like. I'll call mine Windows 11 Install. Leave the file system as NTFS's and cluster sizes at its default. Ensure quick format and create extended label and icon files are checked. Now, the magic happens. Click Start. A window will pop up with some fantastic customization options. I highly recommend checking Remove Requirement for 4GB plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0. This allows you to install Windows 11 on a wider range of hardware. Also, definitely check Remove Requirement for an online Microsoft account. This is a lifesaver, allowing you to set up Windows with a traditional local account instead of being forced to sign in online. And finally, I like to check Disable Data Collection Skip Privacy Questions. This helps turn off some of the data tracking and skips those lengthy privacy prompts during setup. Once you've made your selections, 
click OK. Rufus will show a warning that all data on your USB drive will be destroyed and that you don't need any files on it, then click OK to proceed. Rufus will now begin creating the bootable Windows 11 USB drive. This process involves formatting the drive, copying the Windows files, and applying the customizations we selected. This will take several minutes, so just let it do its thing. You'll see the progress bar fill up. And there we go. Once it's complete, the progress bar in Rufus will turn fully green and say, Ready. You can now click Close in Rufus and safely eject your newly created Windows 11 installation USB. Hey, just a quick pause. If you're finding this guide helpful so far, do me a huge favor and hit that like button down below. It really helps the channel out. And if you want more tech tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to Passionate About Tech. Okay, let's get back to it. Now, before we actually install Windows 11, let's talk about activation. To get all the features and keep Windows running smoothly without watermarks, you'll need a product key to activate it after installation. I recommend checking out premiumcdks.com for affordable and legitimate Windows 11 keys. I'll drop a link in the description below. On their site, you can search for Windows 11 Professional Retail Key. You will often find it listed for a very reasonable price. Add it to your cart. And here's a tip for you guys. In the cart, you can use my discount code TECH9 and click Apply to get an extra discount. Then proceed to payment. They have secure options like Visa, MasterCard, and even crypto. Complete your purchase, and within a minute or so, you should receive your Windows 11 product key via email or directly in your Premium CDK's account. Copy that key somewhere safe. We'll need it later to activate Windows. All right, it's time to install Windows 11 on our target computer. Plug the Windows 11 USB drive into a USB port on the computer you want to install Windows on. I recommend using a port directly on the motherboard, not a USB hub, for best results. Now, turn on your computer. As soon as you power it on, you need to start pressing the key to access the boot menu. This key varies depending on your computer's manufacturer and model. You might need to check your computer's manual or do a quick online search for your specific model. Once you successfully access the boot menu, you'll see a list of bootable devices. Look for your USB drive. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate and highlight your USB drive. Then, press Enter to select it. If your computer boots into your existing Windows installation instead, simply restart it and try pressing the boot menu key again. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get the timing right. Once your computer successfully boots from the USB drive, the Windows 11 installation program will launch. The first screen will ask you to confirm your language to install time and currency format. So, I'll click Next. Also click on Next here. Select Install Windows 11 and click on Next Accept Windows License Term by clicking on Accept. Now you'll see a list of all the drives and partitions on your computer. Be very careful here. If your goal is a truly clean installation and you want to erase everything from the past and start fresh, you will delete all existing partitions on the drive where you want to install Windows. This will erase all data on that drive, documents, photos, programs, everything. Make absolutely sure you have backed up any important files before doing this. For this clean install demonstration, I have several partitions listed for disk zero. I will select each partition listed for my main drive one by one and click delete. I'll repeat this for all existing partitions on disk zero. Once your target drive shows only unallocated space, select that unallocated space, then simply click next. And finally, install. Windows will automatically create the necessary partitions it needs on that unallocated space and begin the installation. And now, the main installation process begins. Windows will start copying files, getting files ready for installation, installing features, and installing updates. You'll see the progress percentage on screen. 
your computer will restart several times during this process. This is normal. Don't press any keys unless prompted. After the file copying and initial installation phases are complete and your computer has restarted, now you'll see the Let's connect you to a network screen. The crucial part here, thanks to our Rufus customization, is that you should see an option that says I don't have internet on the bottom left. Click on I don't have internet. Now, enter a name for who's going to use this device. I'll put passionate for my part. Click next. You can now set a password for your local account. If you want to use a password, enter it here. For this demonstration, I'm going to leave the password blank. You can always add one later. Windows will now finalize your settings and prepare your desktop. You'll see messages like, Hi, getting things ready for you, and this might take a few minutes. Just sit back for a little bit longer. We're almost there. And there it is, the fresh clean Windows 11 desktop. Congratulations, you've successfully performed a clean installation. If this complete guide helped you get Windows 11 installed perfectly, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to Passionate About Tech. Now, a couple of crucial final steps. First, let's activate Windows using that key we got earlier. Right-click on the Start button and go to Settings. In the Settings window, click on System in the left sidebar if it's not already selected, then scroll down and click on Activation. Here you'll see your activation status. Click where it says Change Product Key. You might need to click Upgrade your edition of Windows. A box will pop up. Carefully type or paste the Windows 11 product key you purchased from Premium CDKs or another source. Then click Next. The second important step is to check for drivers and updates. Go to Windows Update from the left sidebar. Click Check for updates. Windows will now search for the latest security patches feature updates, and very importantly, device drivers for your hardware, like your graphics card, network adapter, etc. Let this process run, download, and install everything it finds. You may need to restart your computer several times. You can also check Device Manager to see if any hardware has yellow exclamation marks, indicating missing drivers, but Windows Update is usually very good at finding most of them these days. And that's it! You now have a perfectly clean, activated and updated installation of Windows 11. Thank you so much for watching this comprehensive guide on how to clean install Windows 11. I hope you found it clear and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with anyone who might need it. This is Passionate About Tech, signing off. I'll see you in the next one.